Hi guys, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and today we're going to continue on the uh, Giles build. As you can see, we got a little bit of work done over the weekend, or over the week. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, touch base and uh, get you caught up to where we are right now. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So welcome back. Uh, as I as I mentioned, we're back on the super uh, on the uh, Giles build here. Uh, we got a lot of work done uh, last week and uh, this and throughout the week. Uh, as you see, we got all the uh, all the fillers are done and uh, nice and, and dry. There uh, got those sanded out. We got the motor box and the motor mounted on the engine uh, on the engine box. Uh, we pinned the uh, engine. The firewall for the engine uh, to the engine box, and that is all nicely uh, glued in place, epoxy, nice and tight. Uh, so looking really good there. We have the 35 cc RA DLE mounted, and I'll be honest with you, it looks really nice on the front of this thing with the prop. Um, we're using an ultimate spinner; it's a true turn spinner, and uh, the fiberglass cowl needs to be trimmed now to allow for the uh, engine cylinder and the exhaust to come out. Uh, some of the next steps, uh, as you see, I got the turtle deck uh, temporarily mounted on here. I used the uh, some epoxy or some uh, ammonia to get it to curve nicely around the end. We're gonna go ahead and mark the correct placement for where uh, this needs to end, and then possibly trim it a little bit more to make sure everything fits nicely on here. Um, and uh, then we're going to get that glued in place and then sanded and mount and, and filled along the edge. And it's going to look really great. So uh, same with the front top front section here. I uh, went ahead and marked the, uh, the center point on it and uh, wraps around nicely uh, as well. So we're going to get all this uh, glued in place and uh, we'll move on from there, guys. So uh, it's going to be on time lapse. Uh, but again, same as last week, as we hit any specific milestones of the build uh, of this section, I'm going to stop the time lapse and come back to you guys. So stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, thanks for your support. Okay, guys, so a quick pause from the uh, time lapse. I want to just uh, just show the, uh, the turtle decks are on the aircraft now. Um, so this is all set up. This is uh, drying. I got some wood glue um, that's drying to keep the front ledge lip down onto the uh, first former here. Uh, this one is all super glued on. There was just going to be way too much here to try to keep this uh, all with wood glue. Uh, but it looks like I, I feel like I got it on there pretty good. Um, so what we're going to have to do next is we're going to have to do some sanding on it to blend it in uh, to the sides of the fuselage and then we'll put some filler in there uh, and then smooth that out and then we'll um, sand it to where it matches beautifully and blends into the fuselage. Once that's done, I'm going to take some fiberglass cloth, some uh, three quarter ounce cloth, and I'm going to fiberglass that section uh, so that way if any shrinkage or anything changes shape here, that uh, I won't find any new cracks along this area. Uh, but this is going to be covered with, with a uh, Monaco film, so uh, Monaco type film. Uh, it's actually a new cover from uh, Value Hobby. Uh, but that'll work out really nicely. So I think it, it fits on there pretty good. This is all going to nicely dry up against the, uh, the wood glue uh, stringers. I did do a stringer back here, a backbone stringer that this is uh, uh, glue into in the center. So that gives it a little bit of strength up in the top section. I was feeling it was a little flimsy before, uh, but that'll help uh, 
secure that piece up in the top center section there a little bit better. Um, and you saw I just rolled it around. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. Now the instructions say not to trim the trim the back half yet of this, but I got to trim this front half. So I'm going to let that CA uh, cure up a little bit more, and then we're going to trim that up. The next thing to do is I got to get the canopy, get this laid on top, find out where that part is, trace it, and that way I can trim out this section here. And then I believe there's a former that's going to go uh, across this section to give some support here uh, for the um for the canopy and also a place to put the cockpit uh instrument panel on so um i'm going to go right back over to the time lapse we're going to get this all trimmed up get the canopy trimmed up so we can fit this on uh, and then we'll get that done the the final steps that i'll probably work on today are probably going to be uh sanding the engine box a little bit more and then getting that uh, fiberglass painted and then sealed with the uh, polyester resin that way the fuel and gasoline is not going to affect the, uh, make this wood soft over time. So we'll get that trimmed up, sanded, and uh, I think that'll probably be it for uh, today on the video. And then tomorrow afternoon, after we go flying, uh, we'll maybe get back into it again and see how much more we can get done. But it's starting to look like a plane. There's the fuselage looking really nice. I'm really happy with it uh, so far. Um, and it's really, it's, I'm really looking forward to getting this in the air. It's going to look really nice. So uh, stay tuned, keep watching, and uh, um, we'll uh, see what else we can get done with it today. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the it for today because I gotta let this uh, filler dry. What I did is I made up some uh, polyester resin with some uh, micro balloons. I think I made a little too much, but hey, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> this way I could blend the turtle deck into the sidewalls and uh, the leading edge turtle deck into the sidewalls nicely. And then I can sand that all nice and smooth so that way when we go back and cover this aircraft, uh, you won't even know that there's, this piece is overlapped on top, so it'll look beautiful. Uh, we do have the canopy cut. I don't really want to touch it. Let me see here if I can grab it with the paper towels, because uh, I do have a little bit of residue on my hand here. Um, but basically, the uh, canopy is also uh, pre... It, it's cut just slightly over, um, but that fits perfectly right on board there. Looks great. Uh, I don't want to get anything on there, so we're going to set that aside. <coughs> and as you saw earlier in the video, the engine mount is done. I went ahead and uh, uh, pinned it, and then I was fiberglassed around the lip uh, that holds the uh, front on. I also went ahead and we um, sealed the wood with uh, the 30-minute epoxy. I thinned it out with some alcohol, denatured alcohol, so that brushed on really nicely. Um, we'll let this... Uh, We'll let this uh, micro balloons and the polyester resin cure uh, overnight. We should be good to go to do some sanding on that tomorrow and uh, maybe do some finishing touching and getting this uh, nicely uh, sanded so that way the canopy will go on. Uh, I believe the next steps it has me work on is getting that cow mounted. Uh, so I'm going to get the engine on in place and then mark where I need to cut out the cow to be able to fit that over the engine nicely. 
We got the spinners already here. Uh, let's see. Uh, then we're going to start sanding the tail blocks with the tail feathers inside. So we're going to get the spacing properly for that and get that all taken care of. I do want to go back and um, right now the, the um, servo mounts in the tail, they're only going into the thin plywood. So I'm thinking I might want to double that wood up a little bit. I have some uh, bass wood that I might glue on the inside, give myself a little bit more meat for the threads for the servos to go into. That'll work nicely. And then uh, other than that, then the fuselage is more or less uh, prepped and put to the side so we can go ahead and start laying out the wing next after that. So um, happy with how this came out. Uh, the turtle deck went on really nice. It's really hard. Uh, it'll hold the, uh, the, the cover covering very well over this top side. And it'll look nice and smooth. And then, like I said, with that uh, micro balloon filler and uh, the uh, epoxy resin, or I'm sorry, the uh, polyester resin, that'll add a nice surface there for it to uh, all blend together nicely. You won't see it. I might still do the fiberglass piece on either side just to kind of join those two pieces. I've even thought about glassing the turtle decks uh, and painting those rather than covering them, but uh, I think it'll match, everything will match much better if I just go ahead and do the covering on that. So without, <clears throat> that's what we got for today. Um, Go ahead and uh, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you in the morning, and we'll work on sanding and uh, getting this a little bit more done uh, so we can get this put aside and start working on the fuselage. Or, I'm sorry, uh, working on the wing. So uh, thanks again for your time. I appreciate it, guys. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Visit my Teespring store. Help support your buddy here. Uh, Joe's RC Corner T-shirts are on sale at Teespring. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and also never make uh, never forget we also got the uh, uh, permafrost beard products check his website out and if you have a beard you want to keep it healthy buy his products they're handmade and they're great stuff to use on your beard so without further ado see you on see you tomorrow when we start finishing the zoom doing the sand in here on this Thank you.